big win for the Terriers against UMass Lowell. And here with the leading scorers uh, for the Terriers tonight, Jalen Jordan, as well as Glenn Sanabria. And we'll start with you, Jalen. Some drama in this game tonight. Was it to have a, have a tight game and have it come out in your favor? Yeah, definitely. It was a tight game, but we just pushed through adversity. Um, we knew for us to win, we had to play hard and play smarter and defend really well. But I'm just glad we got the win. And you guys certainly defended well. That was a very good three-point shooting team. Held them for, to three for 22 from beyond the arc. What was behind that? Um, our main focus was defense. Last game we played, we really didn't defend really well. So we wanted to come in and play much, be much better defense than we did last game. How motivated was this team coming off that loss to NJIT oh, on man. Saturday? We were stoked to play. We couldn't really wait to play. We was upset, but um, we definitely bounced back, and we had a good team win. Jalen, congratulations. Thank you for the time. Thank you so much. All right, Glenn, the senior leader of this team, one of the big moments, took a key charge uh, yeah, late yeah. In, in that second half. What about your mindset as a team defensively tonight? Um, I think it's just doing anything that we can to win. You know, last, last time out, we didn't really show a great effort as a team. Um, I think everybody individually kind of took that personally uh, coming into today. And, you know, uh, starting from our shoot around, we kind of just had to focus on uh, really defending. And, and if we do that and we're at home, you know, we usually sh hit shots at home. So, uh, you know, our offense is just going to follow our defense. So that was kind of our effort today. And I just kind of wanted to just make plays to uh, help us win. Bring it now on your home floor. Yeah, what yeah. kind of advantage can the Pope be for you guys? Um, you know, it's a huge advantage. It should be an advantage for us. You know, we're in here every day uh, shooting all the time. So it's kind of we're used to the baskets. We're used to the vibe. Uh, we're kind of used to, the, you know, the, the depth perception of the gym. So it's kind of just something that we're used to. And uh, we kind of use it to our advantage. So we should, we should shoot well in here. Down the stretch, it's seen so many big moments. It's either you or Chauncey Hawkins with the ball in your hands. Mm -hmm. How about you two playing on the court together and, and what you're able to, to bring when you are out there uh, at the same time? Yeah. Um, Coach has always kind of had uh, an idea of playing a lot of guards at one time. You know, he did it with me my freshman year when I played with Brent. Uh, having two small guards, two playmakers on at the same time that can kind of uh, make big plays in, at timely uh, spots in the game. So uh, me and Chauncey tried to do that. We kind of just, you know, took like little uh, kind of turns of controlling the ball at the end and just making plays and finding and then Jalen was just consistent for us all game. So, uh, you know, that guard combo and that, that high scoring that we have as, as guards kind of helped us today, for sure. You get St. Peter's back here at the Pope on Saturday. What are you looking forward to there? Um, well, I know we lost them the past two years, so that's in my head. That's fresh. Uh, so we're going to definitely just come in here and try to give a good effort and try to continue what we've been doing uh, on this home court winning. So. Well, congratulations, Glenn, as well as Jalen. And uh, we'll take a, a quick break right here on NEC Front Row. Coach Breik, an uh, impressive win on your home floor against a tough opponent, UMass Lowell. What can you say about pulling out a close game like this late with some big free throws, big shots from your team? I was proud of our guys. You know, we opened up the game. We were cold. We just we didn't have any energy. It was kind of like a hangover from last game. And, um, you know, I was proud of them the way they came back in the first half and the way they, they were able to sustain the lead in the second half. They went small. Uh, and we had to go small to match up with them, so we couldn't really run anything on offense, but we got three playmakers. They just made plays. You open up a 12-point lead early on in that yeah. second half and then yeah. watched it whittle down to nothing, yeah, it's never but easy you responded. Easy. It's never <laughs> easy, you know, and it, you know, you knew there was a run coming. I was hoping we could extend it, but they're a good team. They kept fighting, and um, I thought our guys did a good job at the end, you know, against some, you know, we haven't been pressed in a while, you know, and then Chauncey breaks the press basically by himself, um, and we just kind of did enough to win, and, uh, you know, we got to move on and get better from this. But the important thing is that their mentality, that they guarded, they rebounded, and they hung in there. What kind of growth do you see from Chauncey with what he was able to do in winning time tonight? You know, he's got a certain confidence about him. He's a very confident kid, and he, he doesn't back down from situations. He just, he's able to step up. He's had a couple of games this year where he didn't score in the first half and then just took over in the second half. He did that at Niagara, I think, so... You know, we, we have a lot of confidence in all those guys, and, and it, they're doing a great job. Defensively, you held UMass Lowell just 3 of 22 from three-point land. Yeah, well, we needed all of that, so, you know, they're a really good shooting team. I think, you know, we switched the ball screens, which, you know, they're such so good at running their offense. And we were able – I didn't know if we could do it because we hadn't really done it this year, and the kids really did it well because they didn't – like, when, when you switch ball screens and teams slip, it's very difficult, and they kind of recognize which was which. I'm shocked, and I'm proud of them. 
Six wins on the season now for your Terriers. Three on the road, a perfect 3-0 and here at the Pope. And Saturday, you welcome in St. Peter's, the yeah. team that had you the last couple of years. How are you looking yeah. at that matchup? I'm not looking at it yet. I'm going to enjoy this till about 11 o'clock, and then we'll start on St. Peter's. But, um, you know, it's it, every game's a war. you got to be ready to play every game. And just as an example, you know, two weeks ago, UMass Lowell beat New Jersey Tech by 20, and then we lost to New Jersey Tech by 20 on Saturday, and then we beat UMass Lowell. So it, it really shows you that a lot of the game is mental. You have to be prepared mentally to play every night, and the team that is, if, if everything's equal, usually wins. Congrats on the win tonight, Coach Breika. Thank you, Pete. Any Met news? Any <laughs> it's been all quiet as far as I know. All right, Coach, uh, appreciate it. And uh, Coach Ross and I will be back to wrap things up here from the Pope.